In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, O Father. Welcome to the parish and national shrine of St. Padre Pio. Today, we celebrate and start the new calendar of the Catholic Church. We start the first Sunday of Advent. Together with all our intentions, we pray for those people who recommend themselves to our prayers, those who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries today, those who are continuously asking prayers for healing and for their petitions, and for the eternal repose of all our departed loved ones. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord God. our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Je Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and Judah. In those days, in that time, I will raise up for David a just suit. He shall do what is right and just in the land. In those days, Judah shall be safe, and Jerusalem shall dwell secure. This is what they shall call her, the Lord, our justice, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior, and for you I wait all the day. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. 
He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble His way. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep His covenant and His decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear Him and His covenant for their instruction. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we have for you, so as to strengthen your hearts to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all His holy ones, Amen. Finally, brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that as you receive from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God. And as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know that instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory to you o lord jesus said to his disciples there will be signs in the sun the moon and the stars and on earth nations will be in dismay perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves people will die for fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your hands, because your redemption is at hand. Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy, from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have, best, that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good afternoon, brothers and sisters, and for those people who are joining with us via live streaming. As we enter into the season of Advent, we are invited to pause, reflect, and prepare. Advent is a time of waiting a time of expectation, and a time of hope. It is a time when the church calls us to prepare not only for the celebration of Christ's birth at Christmas, but also for His return in glory at the end of time. Today's gospel 
from St. Matthew speaks to us about the unexpected nature of Christ's return. Jesus compares His second coming to the days of Noah, when people were going about their lives, eating, drinking, marrying, until the flood came and swept them all away. In the same way, Jesus says, The Son of Man will come at an hour you do not expect. This message is a call of vigilance. Just as Noah prepared for the flood by building the ark, we are called to prepare for Christ's return. But how do we prepare? How do we build our ark in anticipation of the coming of Christ? Sinisimulan po natin ngayon ang panahon ng Adviento, ang bagong kalendaryo ng simbahan. Ngayon po'y bagong taon sa simbahan. Sa pagsisimula ng bagong kalendaryong ito ng simbahan, pinapaalalahanan tayo ng Panginoon na maging handa. Maging handa hindi lamang sa pagdating ni Kristo sa Pasko, kundi maging handa lalong-lalo na sa Kanyang huling pagdating. Advent is not merely about waiting in the passive sense. It is an active waiting. Jesus warns us to be awake, to be alert. This is the time for spiritual renewal, to examine how we are living our lives. Are we living with awareness of God's presence? Are we living with a sense that we are journeying toward a final destination? Are we preparing our hearts to receive Christ in both His birth and His return? In our busy lives, it is easy to forget that we are not just waiting for Christmas, but for the fullness of God's kingdom. Advent invites us to slow down, to set aside the distractions of the world, and to center ourselves on what truly matters, our relationship with God. Ang panahon po ng Adviento ay panahon ng paghahanda, paghahanda sa pagdating ni Kristo. Hindi sa Kristong sisi lang lamang sa sabsaban, kundi kay Kristong sisi lang sa ating puso. Kaya't bahagi ng paghahanda ng panahon ng Adviento, paano natin pinaghahandaan ang puso natin na sisilangan ni Kristo? Advent also calls us to conversion, to a deeper relationship with God. The coming of Christ in the manger is not just a historical event to remember, but a living, birthing invitation to let Christ come into our hearts anew. In his first letter, St. Paul reminds us to wake from sleep. Conversion involves looking at our lives and asking, are there areas where I need to change? Advent is a time to make space in our hearts for Christ. To turn away from sin and turn toward God is a time of renewal for reorienting our priorities. Ang panahon din po ng Adviento ay panahon ng pagbabalik loob. Hindi lamang ito panahon ng paghahanda, kundi pagbabalik loob sa ating mga kasalanan. Paghingi ng tawad upang magkaroon ng malinis na puso, paghahanda kay Kristong darating sa ating buhay. And finally, Advent is a season of hope. The word Advent comes from the Latin Adventus, meaning coming. We are reminded that Christ is coming, not just in the past of Christmas, but in the future when He will return in glory. This is the heart of Advent, the waiting, the longing the anticipation for the fulfillment of God's promises. Even in the darkness of the world, whether in our personal struggles or the challenges facing our communities, Advent reminds us that God is with us. He has already come into the world as a tiny child, and He will come again. As, he, as we await for Christ's return, we are called to live with hope to be people of light in a world that often seeks dark. 
ang panahon po ng Adbiento ay panahon ng pag-asa. Mula sa salitang pagdating, ang Adbiento ay maghahanda sa atin para sa pagliliwanag ng ating kapaskuhan. Miyamiya po ibabasbasa natin ang korona ng Adbiento at linggo-linggo madadagdagan ang liwanag sa kanyang mga kandila. Bahagi at simbolo ng pag-asa ang mga liwanag na ito habang pinaghahandaan ang kapaskuhan ang dakilang pagsilang ng manunubos. As we begin this new liturgical year and embark on this season of Advent, let us remember the call to vigilance, to conversion, to hope. Let us prepare our hearts to welcome Christ, not only as we celebrate His birth, but also as we anticipate His glorious return. May our waiting be filled with watchfulness, prayer, and the joy of knowing that God is with us today, tomorrow, and forever. Let us pray for the grace to use this Advent season well, to grow in holiness, and to live in the light of Christ's coming. Amen. Please all rise. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth. And, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, Son, our Lord. He was, was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit and born, born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended, descended into hell. hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Prayer of blessing to the Advent wreath. Christ came to bring us salvation and has promised to come again. Let us pray that we may be always ready to welcome Him. In every petition, we shall say, Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. That the keeping of Advent may open our hearts to God's love. We pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. That the light of Christ may penetrate the darkness of sin. We pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. This wreath may constantly remind us to prepare for the coming of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. That Christmas time fill us with peace and joy as we strive to follow the example of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord God, your church joyfully awaits the coming of its Savior, who enlightens our hearts and dispels the darkness of ignorance and sin. Pour forth your blessings upon us as we light the candles of this Advent wreath. May their light reflect the splendor of Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. We shall now light the first candle of Advent. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Please be seated. Oh, 
Please all rise. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant to us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the price of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and all with the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, your Son of Yes, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of Linda. Yes. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when a supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death, and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gilbert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome then into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with all the apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. able to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say, say the word and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed.
second collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priests of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offerings. Lahat ay pantayin 
Please all rise. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what in to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio, all together. Padre, Padre Pio, Pio, holy monk, monk from, from Pietrelcina, outstanding saint of the, the present era, era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, trouble exemplar of great, great courage. courage. With you, With you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our, our health, and, and our, our might. mind. Unworthy as we are, we, we pray, pray that, that we you concede, bless and grace us, that our, that our lives may be fulfilled. From, from sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. remain. We also beseech thee, servant, servant the, most the most holy, to instruct us in the gospel that, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Una sa inyong pagbisita sa pambansang Dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ng inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad po namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, dahil po sa mas dumadaming mga pilgrims at devotees na bumibisita sa pambansang Dambana, ninanais nating madagdagan ng ating misa mula lunes hanggang sabado. Ang nasa screen po ang mga bagong schedule ng ating misa at meron din tayo mga alisa na mga live streaming upang bigyang daan ang pagla-live stream ng Angelus at Banal na Rosario tuwing tanghali 
at alas tres ng hapon sa Divine Mercy Chaplet. Nawapo'y magabayan kayo ng mga bagong schedule ng ating misa at experimentum simula po sa araw ng lunes. Isang paanyaya po, kayo po'y makiisa sa ating gaganaping dinner for a cause para po sa mga gawain ng pambansang dambana. Isang pakikiisa ng pagbibigayan, ng musika at saka ng pagdiriwang. Ngayong December 10, tayo po'y magkakaroon ng dinner for a cause sa halagang 2,500 pesos lamang na ticket available sa ating opisina at pamisahan. Meron na tayong dinner buffet at uh, concert ni Mito Yonting at ng The Driver's Band kasama po ang ilang mga mga awit at mga pari ng Arsidiosisis ng Lipa. Sa diwa po ng pagbabahaginan, tayo po'y makiisa sa gawain ito para sa pambansang dambana. Ikaapat, bahagi rin ng ating fundraising project. May mga available po tayong kapiyo merchandise, t-shirt at mga coffee mug sa mga tindahan sa loob ng pambansang dambana. Makiisa po tayo para po sa gagawing nas, uh, isang mahalagang pangtiriwang ngayong darating na Enero dito sa Pambansang Dambana. At panghuli, kasalukuyan pong hindi pa rin nadadaanan ng sasakyan ng ating main arc entrance dahil po sa rehabilitation ng ating uh, tulay dito sa loob ng Pambansang Dambana. Asahan po ninyo na sa darating na linggo, Sa susunod pong linggo ay maari na nating gamitin ang ating tulay at naisaayos na para po sa ating pagbabalik ng safe at free parking dito sa loob ng Pambansang Dambana. Sa ganun po sa kasalukuyan, ginagamit muna natin ang ating lumang entrance dito sa lumang gate sa harap po ng ating main church. Salamat po sa inyong lahat. Pagkatapos po ng banal na misa, tayo ay mayroong banal na oras sa ating Chapel of Reconciliation upang ipanalangin ang inyong mga intensyon na isinusulat sa mga sobring inihuhulog sa mga donation boxes. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Inaasahan namin inyong pananatilihin ng kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating simbahan. Magsitayo po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng mga religious articles. O Lord God, you are the source of all blessings and graces. Pour out your blessing on these instruments of prayer, the rosaries, images, prayer booklet, healing bundle, miracle oil, and healing rub that remind us of your goodness, holiness, and love to us, so that all who came and prayed through them may receive your mercy and grace. Through them, help the faithful imitate the holiness and teaching of the Lord and of the saints forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning now and will be forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We thank all our servers and all of you who participated in this Holy Mass. Thank you very much. You take care of yourselves always. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.